So today, just uh, just after 1.15 this afternoon, thereabouts, we received an alarm uh, for this building from the municipal fire alarm system. The uh, building alarm system activated. When crews arrived on scene, the alarm was activated and they uh, searched for the, for the cause of it. They found a uh, smoke condition in an apartment up on the, up on the fourth floor. As they were uh, investigating that, uh, conditions continued to deteriorate. They put a uh, hand line into operation and, and started to fight the fire. This building has a number of voids in it that, that are interconnected, so a fire is spreading throughout the voids. It's not a sprinkled building. Only, uh, only the hallways in this building were sprinkled. The individual apartments in the void areas aren't covered by a sprinkler system, so the fire is moving throughout uh, the sprinkler system. We've struck uh, more than six alarms on this fire to get a number of fire companies in. As far away as Boston and Lynn, um, we have Linfield, Woven, Wilmington, Everett, Medford, Somerville, uh, just, just to name a few. So we have a, over 100 firefighters attempting to put this fire out. Uh, I think there's over 41 apartment units in, in, in this building. Uh, we're going to be here all night. Unfortunately, the people will not be able to return home this evening. Uh, we're going to be here for several more hours putting this, extinguishing this fire. They're operating right now up on the fourth floor, pulling ceilings and getting up into the void area. So it's a very labor intensive operation. Did it start in a unit or in a, a, a common area? Right now we just can't tell. So after this fire is knocked down, we'll start our investigation. Reading Fire and Reading Police and, and also the State Fire Marshal's Office will help us in that investigation. There's always that concern. We've searched um, the building twice. We're going to continue to search the building twice. We've, we've been able to rescue some animals uh, from that building. So we've done the best we can. And uh, right now, there are no reports of anybody missing. Chief, were people home at the time? And there were they people. Get out on their own? Uh, people left on their own, but we had to assist some elderly people to, to leave the building. Anyone hurt? We have one firefighter that was transported with uh, minor injuries related to heat. <coughs> it's a multi-story building. Um, they had to go up to the fourth floor. Getting a water supply in operation takes time. <coughs> building construction is brick on the outside, but the inside is all combustible construction. It wasn't a former school built at the turn of the last century, and there's a number of voids that are connected. Once the fire hits those voids, it, it's very labor intensive to open it up and, and get to it. So it was burning up into the slanted portion of the roof, traveling very quickly. And it's just common spaces where it just takes off. Is there a fire suppression system? Did it operate? There's, there's a partial fire alarm, fire suppression system, only in the hallways and in the <laughs> um, stairwells. It is not in the individual units. The building built today that's required to be sprinkled has to have a sprinkler system in the units and, in, and within combustible void spaces. So if this building was built with a full system like this, it may have put this fire out. So was it up to code or it's just because it's an old It was up to code as when it was built, when it was renovated. It was built at the turn of the century and renovated in the 1980s. So it was grandfathered? It was built according to the codes and then they don't, they don't need to be updated again until another major, major renovation. How bad is the damage to the apartment? Uh, significant damage to the fourth floor and some damage to apartments on the third floor. And of course, when you with with the water that we had to apply to it, there's, there's water damage uh, throughout. They have smoke alarms and all that kind of stuff. There are smoke alarms in there. They, that's what at, that's what alerted us to the fire in the building. The system worked. That the alarm system went off, activated the alerted the building occupants, but it also sent the signal to us through the municipal fire alarm system. I don't know just yet until we can really get in. We don't know if it's going to be safe for them to get in. And if, if, if we're able to let them get into some parts of the building, it won't be throughout the building. We might not be able to let them go to the third or fourth floor, maybe the first or second. That's considerable. But at this point, I just don't know. What are the animals cheap? Are they as well accounted for? Pardon me? Are the animals accounted for? I don't know at this point. I can tell you we removed a number of animals. 
Sorry, Chief, you said you struck more than six alarms. It's a seven, eight alarm fire, any idea exactly? Up to a seven. We had the special call, some tower lattice, specialty equipment. This, just to give people an idea, where does this typically stand as far as the typical fires you respond to? <clears throat> this is a significant fire. Every alarm we get uh, three engine companies, every other alarm we get a ladder company. So this is a significant fire for, for any community to fight. One more, guys. Okay, that firefighter who suffered the heat-related injuries, fire, uh, was that a transport or treated at the scene? We always transport somebody if, if they have had any kind of injury. So he's transported for precautionary reasons, just to make sure he's okay. Any problems you ran into fighting fire? It's just a, it, just because of the building construction and getting um, getting water on the, on the places where we needed to get. You can see how much equipment we needed to bring in. And I'd like to thank our mutual aid partners for, for, for responding. It's a system that's been in place for hundreds of years. It works very well, and um, it really helped us out today. Any water issues? Uh, some, you know, but uh, we have a very good water department that assisted us with that. We maxed out our water supply in this particular area, so we brought um, water supply from the square to, to overcome that. So, so the firefighters. Indications it was suspicious in any way? No indications, but this is all, all we'll do our investigation at, at a later date. The firefighter who was transported is Reading Firefighter? Correct. Yes. Thanks, just, quick, just quickly, Chief, you said you're going to be here all night. What will you do all night? Well, we have to finally uh, extinguish it, and then we have to have crews here to make sure it doesn't reignite. We have to do an investigation. We have to assist any occupants um, as, as best we can. So. It's, Nobody will be living there tonight, unfortunately. All right, guys, thank you.